Well, when we return, Gerald Miles Clark runs for her third U.S. indoor title. She'll be in the women's 400. Welcome back to the Georgia Dome in Atlanta and the U.S. Indoor Championships. Up next, the women's 400 meters. There's Gerald Miles Clark, who is the defending champion. She also won this race in 1995. Last year, took a victory here at, to uh, vault her to the gold medal at the World Indoor Championships. Gerald Miles has been such an incredible athlete. She has been competing so well in the quarter mile, but hopes to move up to the 800 very soon. And you're looking at Natasha Kaiser-Brown on the left of your screen as you see the lane assignments with Miles Clark in three and Kaiser-Brown in four. Natasha didn't have such a great season in the 97 year. Wasn't at the World Championships. She's married to an exceptional high jumper. That's Brian Brown, who didn't compete indoors this year. Natasha was second to Miles Clark at these championships a year ago. Gerald Miles Clark. I watched Gerald break the American record. In fact, Mary Slaney's American record in the 800 meters. And she has just been going back and forth, but slowly but surely, she said she will be in that 800 meters by the year 2000. But still, the number one threat in America at 400 meters. underway they'll be in lanes for the first two turns and Gerald Miles Clark off to a good start you know we talked to Gerald yesterday and she said that it's been really interesting this year there haven't been that many indoor meets and she feels like right when she's getting her legs under her the indoor season is over now they break for the lanes with Miles Clark in front and Jessica Hudson takes over second Donna Howard is third said that she wanted to do exactly what she did last year, get out fast, stay in the lead, and hopefully control the race from there. Carol Miles Clark continuing to lead Carol, and uh, Natasha Kaiser-Brown, as always, will come from back to the back. She trails the field at the moment. She may not have enough room at this point, but nobody's going to come. Well, appeared to be, Carol, a pretty easy race for Gerald Miles Clark. Out of the blocks quickly, had the lead at the break, and then uh, just sort of had it all her own way. Well, she said that, you know, she wasn't as sharp as she should be because, again, we mentioned that there weren't that many indoor meets for her to run this year. But she said last year the tactics worked very well. Get out of the blocks very quickly and control the race. Remember, indoors, there's not as much space to maneuver, and you're not in your lanes. So there can be some elbows and things like that. The best thing to do is stay out of trouble. Here, take a look as uh, they come out of the lanes with Gerald Miles Clark off to that good start uh, in front. They run two turns in lanes, and then they break as they come down the straightaway here. In the 400 meters, it's so important to be in the front or up to the front because you really can't pass anybody on that last lap unless you just got overpowering speed, especially indoors here. Gerald was in great position. She ran the race exactly like she wanted to. I talked to her yesterday and said, how serious are you taking this U.S. Indoor Championship? She said, hey, very serious. She wanted another title. And Natasha Kaiser-Brown with that late charge did get up for the bronze medal, but Gerald Miles Clark was the winner.